If you play the game the way we want you to play the game, you'll win. If you don't, it's up to you. We have not played our game for maybe five minutes of the 40. You want to play the way I'm going to tell you to play right now, the way we're going to tell you, you'll win the game, even with 20 minutes. But you're going to, you're going to have to commit to it. You're going to have to make a decision right now. It's got to be our way or no way. Because I'm not going to do anything up here until you decide. Their name has helped define the sport of collegiate hockey at the highest level. Their identity can be found in a single word, the brotherhood. It's all about hard work. Okay, let's go. A storied program annually listed among the elite, driven not only by their past success, but by the expectations placed upon them. Game time! It's in the bag, you better believe it. We all play for a reason. Show out dominating this season. It's time! Take that dub with us, so we leaving. You not with us in the streets and brave. I turn it up for the season. Game time! It's the season 2018 Miami Hockey. Winning can be an interesting endeavor. While it seems almost effortless at times at home, going on the road often makes getting a W much more elusive. And as the Miami Red Hawks pack their bus in the early morning hours outside of Goggin Ice Center, it's winning that is on their minds. The Red and White opened the season with a pair of back-to-back -back home victories just a few days prior against Alabama Huntsville. He'll light the lamp, the first goal of the year! Setting the tone for the season. Johnson driving the net, sends it and he scores! The opener in the Red Hawks win as they put on an offensive display. It gave coach Enrico Blasi a reason to be optimistic. Last week's games were, were good for us to get together and play games and um, get everybody kind of acclimated to each other. Uh, this weekend's a different ball game. Now they're headed four hours north to Erie, Pennsylvania, and a much tougher task the traditional icebreaker tournament and a date with number four ranked Providence. Well, it's exciting to play Providence uh, you know, in our first game. I think uh, you know, in terms of programs over the last few years, they've been one of the best. And uh, I think it'll give us a good indication of where we're at and where we need to go and what we need to work on and uh, allow our guys to really get um, acclimated to what they're going to see the rest of the year. Okay, fellas, real quick. Let's make sure we're sharp on the ice. The communication still has to be good. We're intense, we're focused on our passes, okay? Let's get through this with a lot of intensity and good energy. We know already, from example last week, when you practice well, it leads into the game, right? You've already proven that. I don't need to remind you every week now. The way you approach today will dictate what happens tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. Okay? So let's make sure everybody's sharp. Quickly, quickly! On the ice the day before the game, the mood was light, yet focused. Oh yeah! Go! Nice! Oh! Make sure you cut short. After you shoot, you follow your shot to the net. After you pass, follow your shot to the net, okay? Good habits here. This time, once you go behind the net, make a play behind the net. You can wrap it, you can pass it, you gotta work together. So, same thing here, go behind. You can work this, or come around, stuff it, whatever you want, okay? You took oh. kind of a hard shot. Did I score? Oh, it it's just like second nature for me. I mean, it's second nature for me. I didn't even know I scored. I mean, when you've had 50 plus, what's what's another one? was a very good shot. You all said I scored. I don't even know when I score anymore. I just, that's how much I score. Like, it's like second nature. I mean, hey, they all count. You want another one? You want another shot? One shot? You scared? Let's get one. Yeah. Yeah. I get one shot? I get one shot? 
I get one shot. One shot. Oh. Boys, coming off a bus trip like that, we are money. We are money. That means we're ready to go. Lineup's going to go up after scouting report, okay? There's a championship on the line. And the only way to get to the championship is through Providence. And that starts tomorrow, all right? Let's be ready to go. Good job, boys. We all we got, we all we need. We all we got, we all we need! Back at the team hotel, senior captains Josh Melnick and Grant Hutton take a low-key approach to their preparation. How many did you get? Four. <laughs> you, you, took, you, 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 took, you took one out of my book. We got a couple cookies from, from pre-game meal. Those are, those are always a must. Uh, Hudson and I usually take a few too many, probably. But uh, <laughs> just save them. These are just the Normatex. Um, basically, they just pump air and pressure and flush all the bad stuff out of your legs and allow new blood to come in and they work really well. It's pretty impressive. I mean, I, I had never used them until I came here, but I think sophomore year we started taking them on the road and me and Melly just kind of keep them in here and after a game it probably feels the best, but it's just one of those things where, you know, at this point you're just looking for, for every little advantage you can get. You know, there's a lot of emotion and maybe sometimes too much energy on the on the first weekend, so I think it's, it's good that guys sort of, uh, you know, got the the nervousness or whatever out of the way and now we can just you know focus on playing the right way and and uh, continuing to get better. feel pretty good. Had a good pregame meal and uh, now we're just kind of relaxing. I think it'll be a good test for us. Providence has been a good team and a good program for what did you say Matt, like the last eight years? I mean I don't even remember what year they won it but we've played them opening week in our first three years here so it's good to get another chance to, to battle with them. They're a good team. We're on the shores of Lake Erie in Erie, Pennsylvania. I'm going tournament style this weekend. For the first road trip of the season as Miami part of the Icebreaker Tournament. And off to their first 2-0 start since back in 2013. It's the Red Hawks taking on the fourth ranked Friars from Providence College. In the locker room, final preparations make it clear what's at stake. Tonight's one of those nights, fellas. Togetherness, team, playing with your brothers. You stay together, have fun, win your battles. Let's go. Woo! Yeah! Let's go! Brothers are ready over there. We are just underway here from the icebreaker in Erie, Pennsylvania. Go, 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 go! Deep! Deep! Deep. In the first period, both teams look to assert themselves. Hit over the left side, the feed went down low, and that went in, and just getting a piece of that one, Ryan Larkin. Go, Casey Greener, let's go. Dash, let's go. Ben Lowne and Belding takes one away out in front of the net, drops it back off, and a shot in. Good looks by Miami on the power play here in the early going. On breakouts, if they send two guys, you can bypass. Our wingers will be ready, all right, Pete? Yeah. Yeah. doing a great job right now of puck control and not allowing Providence a whole lot of opportunities. Like it back across, Hutton has it again. He'll flip this one wide. Casey Gilling through some traffic and just flies that one wide. But it is Providence which strikes first. Shot from the point, blocked out front, come through. And a spinning shot finds its way by Larkin. And a Providence goal by Greg Prince. Despite some great pressure by Miami. It's Providence that grabs the one nothing lead. And with the momentum on their side, the team in black looks to add to their lead. It wristed into the corner. He has to hustle back, though. That one knocked down into the corner, and Providence sends one right through the crease and into the corner. Then another shot from the right point, and that one deflected through and scores. Hey, fellas, it just takes one shot. We can't start taking chances. Just play our game. Keep getting pucks deep. Let's tighten up defensively. That's good hockey right here. Swing with them. Swing with them. Swing with them. Puck dropped. Find his way over. Ward Russell sends one in, and that one just went wide. That will bring an end to the first period of action. The period ends with the Red Hawks trailing by two. They earned nothing we gave them that period. Zero. 
All self-inflicted. Fellas started off the game the right way, and then we got loose, and then all of a sudden, we start going south, and we start to pick it up there at the end, okay? We've got to tighten up defensively. Pay attention to detail, okay? Stay focused. We can't do anything about what just happened. We can do something about the next 20 minutes. Let's go. The Red Hawks will go right to left here in period number two as we are just underway. Gruden is there, but his shot blocked down and ricochets back out of the zone. Hey, hey, hey! That's better, that's better. In the second, the Red Hawks create a number of chances and come away with goals. And the Red Hawks move it out in front, and that shot blocked. Up, oh, right up, right up, right up! Yet for Red Hawks right. forward Ben Lowne, his focus is on relentless effort. Stick, stick, stick! Ah. Hey, hey, hey! Boys, stay positive here, Hey, okay? We're fine. Through two periods here at the 2018 Icebreaker Tournament, Erie, Pennsylvania. Red Hawks trailing the Providence College Flyers by a score of 2-0. Heading back into the locker room, it is decision time, according to Coach Blasi. If you play the game the way we want you to play the game, you'll win. If you don't, it's up to you. We have not played our game for maybe five minutes of the 40. You want to play the way I'm going to tell you to play right now, the way we're going to tell you, you'll win the game even with 20 minutes. But you're gonna, you're gonna have to commit to it. You're gonna have to make a decision right now. It's gotta be our way or no way. Every time the puck carrier has the puck, I should see another guy in the vicinity. Communicate. Do you understand what I'm saying? Defensive zone, we better be determined to box out and seal. Play the game our way and we'll win. Let's go. Trying to get something going here, but Hayden Hockey shutting out the Red Hawks right now on 22 shots. Four back, Soroki, you gotta go and support. Over. Step in it. Back over and Gilling fires it in. <clears throat> Come out the groove and take a step. Red Hawks trying to get on the board, trailing it 2 nothing to Providence. Yet despite their effort, it was not enough on this day. And a score for Spencer Young for Providence on the power play. That may be a backbreaker for the Red Hawks. The Red Hawks came out with the guns blazing. Providence countered with two shots on goal that both scored as the horn sounds, and this one's done. Final score here this afternoon. Providence four and Miami nothing, your final score. The Red Hawks shut out. While unsuccessful on the scoreboard, stepping stones to championships are often paved with adversity. And while the loss stings, it is up to the brotherhood as to how they will interpret it. Learn our lesson now. Because we've shown what happens when we do what they tell us what to do. Do it. We are all capable. One guy on the line can't do it. Two guys on the line can't do it. One guy on the deep here can't do it. Everyone on the ice has to do it at the same time. Some champions say they never lose. They only win or learn. For the Red Hawks, they can only hope it's the second case.